Yeah, I was I was hoping it was going to be a camp because that's what it was called, and we'd sort of pop over, and there might be one or two people, and we just wait for dark, and then go and steal whatever it is, or it'd be abandoned, and we just take it. I should have known I was not going to be that lucky. Okay. I suppose technically that is should have known she was last. A cast that she waited on, but they never asked them. Just take it for it. This is where I could do with an alchemy bench, because I want my night vision. And it's not gonna last for that long. No, it's not. However, I do want it. Is it worth putting all right, you know what? 300 seconds. Health regenerates 46% faster. Yeah, you know what? Let's... What does this one do? Two-handed weapons, illusion spells, resist fire. Not that useful, but, you know, hey. Bit of resistance going. Okay. And, oh, fortify sneak and resist frost. Hey, why not? Last, oh, this one only lasts 60 seconds. Yeah, that's why not. Okay. Um, I think you should stay. I'll there. never do Come this. back safe. Let me. Die than give myself up. Like they are my Let me just walk into the city. Wow, it's still dark. I'll show you what a real I'm invisible! That's, that's it. That's all you I'm in- Oh, you mean in again. Got it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where, oh. where- Where- Where is he? Can you- Whoa, God. Okay. Collect bounty from- I had a bounty to come here as well. Oh, right. For White Run. Yes, that does make sense. Wow. It is still insanely dark. That is pretty damned amazing. Yes, it is. I actually think I might want to use the light here just to loot the place. Oh, we still got people. All right. We can do the looting on the way out. How did they see me? That's what I want to know. Or was it Inigo? It, it was Inigo they saw, right. Out of curiosity, what have I got currently? Night Eye, regenerate health, regenerate stamina, and none of the ones... Oh! The fortify skills don't last as long, do they? No, they do not. Let's have a look. If we get like fortify sneak, it's only for 60 seconds. They, these ones are pretty weak source. Okay. I need to keep. I need to be able to know where it's dark and where it's not. Yes, I do. Oh god, I've got no invisibility potions left on. Oh, okay. I'm running a little low. Grants invisibility for 42 seconds. That one gives a lot of resist. I've got a few. I'm okay, I'm okay. Three beers down, the orc that frown, and bid the elf goodbye.
use. Ooh, we could just do lingering damage and let him die. Eh, I've actually got more paralysis potions, poisons, magicka, and health. Okay. Got a little more health. <laughs> So this is, uh... Oh, wow, it's dark. Wow, it is dark. Yeah, I'm almost... Oh, no! There was a... There was a... Oh, God, an entrance, wasn't there? Like, behind a gate? Yes, there was. Probably I will not be coming out this way again. I should do a slightly better job of looting. Yes, I should. Yeah, the night vision is actually very useful. It, it is. But, oh god, dude. I don't think it's ever going to be a real replacement for the torch. Which really, or the, the torch bug lantern, is just... It, it does allow me to stay stealthy, which is nice. But at the same time, it's not as easy to find things as a good light source. Uh, sealed hatch. There's a sealed hatch that requires a key, a key I do not have. There is a lever. Okay. Stay there. Okay. Do not take too long. I saw something. That is a lunar iron sword. Not actually as good as it initially sounds. Strong box. Denstragma's ring! All right. That's what I came for, along with the bounty. I did not... I did not remember actually getting a bounty. Malrus Journal. Malrus Journal. Okay, we will check Malrus's journal very soon. Yes, we will. See, I have a feeling this goes to the, uh, the exit I was talking about. Yes, I do. And... So... Ah, oh, this is one of those... excavation sites that I can get stuff from. I'm gonna check the journal, but I'm wondering if it's going to mention... the... hatch behind me. Oh, good grief. Oh! So when I've exhausted it, the lantern goes out? That is convenient, is it not? Yes, it is. So, Malrus, Lost Wonders of the Ages, Volume 3. Completed. Look for additional texts concerning lost relics. Oh! I had a quest to find... S oh! Mace of the Crusader, Armor of the Crusader, Shield of the Crusader. None of this is stuff I would want to use, but it's a set, a collection. We all know what that means. Oh, Sword of the Crusader, you never know. Disclaimer, this book... Could you, could you just move the text? Like all others in the series, is purely speculation. It will not lead you straight to these artifacts, but it may give you adventurous treasure hunter a leg up. Though it may sound that I have gleaned the exact whereabouts of each relic. These descriptions herald, herald, herald from tales and lore and only relay the clues I have learned. The Crusader's relics, the arms and armor of Pelinol Whitestrake, used in his battle with Umaril the Unfeathered, are unique among the various wonders, wonders covered in this series. Why, you ask? Because they have been lost not once, not twice, but three times. They were lost the first time following the death of Pelinil, Pelinil after his battle with Umaril. They were then gathered once more by the Knights of the Nine after they were founded by Sir Amiel in the Third Era 111. 
They were lost again after the knights disbanded following the War of the Red Diamond. The relics were collected again by the Second Divine Crusader in order to fight Umaril once more when he was reborn in the Third Era 433. The relics remained in the possession of the re-established Knights of the Nine until the Battle of the White Gold Tower where the current champion of the Knights at the time, Dame Noriel, fell in battle with the Thalmor. The remaining Knights of the Nine managed to recover the Crusader's relics from the battlefield before the Thalmor could get to them. Knowing the Thalmor sought to destroy the relics, as they represented a divine endorsement of mankind, they decided to hide them from the Thalmor by taking the relics deeper into the Empire. The Knights left a garrison at the Priory of the Nine, knowing the Thalmor would come for the relics, whilst they also sent a force north to Skyrim, hoping to divide the Thalmor agents who pursued them. From amongst this group, they chose seven knights to safekeep and hide the relics throughout Skyrim. Each knight was given a chest crafted and blessed in the name of the One of the Divines that could only be opened by one blessed by that divine, or the steward of the order themselves, bearer of the Ring of Sir Amiel, founder of the order. The ring, it is said, was lost during the Thalmor's efforts to purge the knights and the memory of Pelinol Whitestrake, and his legacy by hunting down the members meant to safeguard the chests. All that is known, he was awaiting his brothers somewhere along the far north. I found him! Did I find the ring? I may have found the ring. I may have actually found the ring. I found somebody far north. The Seven departed from the main force one night, taking the relics where they saw fit. Herein is contained all accounts I have uncovered about the likely whereabouts of the chests and their contents. The bearer of the sword was perhaps the most faithful, taking the relic to the Temple of the Divines in solitude, where all the Divines are worshipped, awaiting for a wielder who understands the power of life and death. This chest is only one of its brethren, of which its whereabouts are known for certain. So, solitude! Okay. The shield of the Crusader could only be claimed by one blessed with wisdom, though the bearer chose to hide it not amongst those wise in the workings of the world, but in the cellar of one wise in the knowledge of passing travellers. I can only surmise that the chest must be tucked away within an inn or hostel of some sort. Really? I've got to check every single inn. The bearer of the boots hid them near a fort once owned by an order dedicated to the eradication of the unnatural. Okay. Um, would that be the... Oh, God, what are they called? What are they called? They, they, they chase vampire hunters and the werewolves. They rest among native animals, waiting to be claimed by the one blessed with an appreciation of nature. So much is considered unnatural to the Nords that the legendary whereabouts of this chest could almost literally be anywhere. From a dark Falmer-infested Dwema ruin to the a dormitory room of the Winterhold Mages College. Hmm. Wait a minute, but it says near a fort once owned by an order dedicated to the, the eradication of the unnatural. The helm's bearer had less luck than the others. She was nearly caught by wandering Thalmor in her travels and forced to flee further north. She slipped their pursuit near a fort in the Pale, taking the helm underground in a near nearby cave. The helm now languishes among the hideous cave cavern dwellers while it waits for a champion of beauty to recover it. Again, mentions of all of the hideous immediately draw my thoughts to that of the Falmer or perhaps Hagravens of Skyrim. Okay, well, it's the Pale, so... But any who seek to find it would do best to start, start searching the areas around the ruined forts in the northern Pale for nearby caves. The armor of the Crusader awaits a champion of the age, blessed by time to recover it from the cave in which it rests, northeast of the town of Stone. Oh, a town of Stone, would that be Markarth? The passages concerning this legend are vexing to me, to be certain, while some accounts imply that the blessing of the chest was imparted by Mara. Others imply that it was Akatosh himself, which leads me to believe that the Greaves and Quiras may well be safeguarded together within the chest. As we well know, through legends of Crusader relics, each of the original eight divines bestowed a relic, and yet there are only seven chests. According to all sources concerning the chests, I would hate to think that one of the chests containing the armor or greaves has been lost to all time. As for the location, I would only surmise that the reach is what is being spoken of, but the entire area is littered with spires from dwarven ruins, so the exact location would be very hard to determine. Good grief. The bearer of the mace 
brought it to a fort at the crossroads of several holes, to be found by one who knows the value of honest work. An elusive legend, to be sure, and provided only a vague insight as to the location it speaks. Could that be Riverwood? Crossroads of several holes, and... Honest work, with they've got... It's a wood mill. Wood chopping block. There are several crossroads throughout Skyrim, but the most likely, perhaps, would be the cross three crossroads that surround Whiterun, the central most hold in the province. Um... Well, there are quite a lot of... Oh, right, it's got to be near a crossroad. It's not going to be... Oh, no, River... Riverwood does have one crosshold near to the bridge. But all right. Where else would be hard work? Could be the Meadery. There's a crossroad there. The bearer of the gauntlets believed himself a crusader in his own right and ended up chasing a vampire through the reach after a failed attempt to execute it. He chased the vampire into a tomb, blinded by rain, rage, and slew them. He then realized he had run through a home of the dragon cults of old and sealed away the gauntlets before facing the undead horde he'd awakened. Hoping someone more merciful than he would claim them, he fought to his last in repentance for his failure. Okay, so we got some sort of dragon burial tomb. All right. Interesting. Out of curiosity, did that, that update anything? Let's have a... Guardians of the Divine. Right. So, it hasn't actually done something daft and actually pinpointed them, has it? I, d I wouldn't have thought so. No. Okay. Um, what else was I doing? Oh, yes, there was a journal. There was a journal. Malrus's journal. I just can't shake these fools. Everywhere I go, there's another one of them on my tail. I sweat on my tail. Oh, is it on my tail? It is on my tail. I sometimes think it should be on my trail. But, no, they're on your tail. Right on your back. I swear if the Brotherhood were half as relentless, it would still be a plague upon Tamriel. See, you're dissing the Brotherhood. You're dissing it. At first bloody paragraph, I'm getting dissed. It seems that I'm going to have to go full circle and return to the vault where I found Hercene's spear of the hunter entombed away so many ages before. I stumbled upon a strange runic shrine on the largest mass of land in the marshes south of the Solitude, some distance to the west of Dead Man's Respite. When I touched the stone, it began to glow and a beam of light shone like a beacon to the... Wait a minute. That's a standing stone. To the southeast of there. I travelled in that direction. No, it's not a standing stone there. What, for what must have been three weeks and never found anything out of the ordinary. Months later, I was in the Southlands near Helgen and spotted what I swore was a snow elven ruin just south of Riverwood. And when I went to investigate, I discovered a small shrine that behaved in much the same way, glowing and projecting a light after touching it. This one pointed north, presumably towards the same place the first rune stone. Ah, triangulation. It wasn't until almost a year later I happened upon a third marker, which lay high above the dragon shrine at Mount Anthor. This one was Dwemer in nature, and when touched, the light shone out from the eyes of the Dwemer bus there, just like the others. After that, there was a rumble in the earth, the light was pointing to the southwest, and so I aimed to triangulate with these lights where these lights might be pointing. When I might marked my map, it revealed that the center location was likely the Silent Moon ruins or some place right near it. It's where we are. I wasted no time and began the long excavation into the Silent Moon's ruins. I hired some mercenaries for protection and a couple of diggers, and we delved deep, eventually finding a lost basement off one of the ruined tower sections where the metal hatch resided. The hatch opened easily, despite looking as if many had tried to pry the door over the many decades it was here. Inside lay an ornate Daedric spear. Really? I surmise that this vault had been built with the express intention of sealing the spear away and involved the collective efforts of the Dwemer, Snow Elves, and the ancient Nords. I held on to the spear for some time until I lost it to a group of bandits. You did what? They continued to pursue me in an effort to find whatever else I might be hiding from them. No matter what I did, they kept finding me, probably due to the powers of the spear. The spear allows you to track people, find people. My only remaining secret is the Codex, a grand book of ancient 
make which holds boundless knowledge. It seems that the more I travel and uncover, the more powerful it becomes. If It isn't a spell tome per se. In fact, it behaves entirely unlike one. Instead, the book seems to relay knowledge of various subjects and imparts powers on a daily basis, depending on what it is researched within its pages. You merely have to open the book, turn the page, and a new topic appears on the pages. It's really quite an astounding item. I want it! So it seems that I may be making my final stand. I've sealed the codex in the vault, which I discovered the spear in, and the doors have locked tight. All I can do now is wait. Okay. Is he in there? No. Started the book of wonders. Find the Dwemer monument. Find the snow elf shrine. Oh. So I need to find the three areas that he mentioned in his book. And I then need to activate them. And then if I come here probably activate the lever and and then right so this will not open until I find those things all right then there is a book that grants knowledge and powers right below there knowledge and powers. There is also a spear that helps people track people down, maybe? Difficult to say for sure. All right. Very interesting. I didn't just get the ring I came to get and a bounty I came to complete. I lost Indigo. As expected, right out in the open. And we left the horses over the... I thought I heard horse sounds for a second. Um, yes, we're going to Whiterun to... Ooh. I, I mean, I mean, I know I've got things to do. I, I, I'm well aware of the fact that I've got things to do, but... Those things are to do in Markarth. Do I have anything to do in Whiterun? Yes, I do. 500 gold in goods from Whiterun. The numbers job. That's Riften. Lots of stuff to do in Riften, actually. We have clear the grey main house of va uh, valuables. Okay, you know what? Whilst we're in town and night is in fact falling. Night is in fact falling. Why don't we... You, you, you're going to get fat. You really are. Uh, why don't we get a room for the night in Whiterun and um, have a little fun before we wake up tomorrow and head off to Markarth. Ordinarily, I would wait until later tonight before entering the Grey Main residence, but I've actually been invited there to speak to the woman. Um, the woman that was selling stuff at a store. She Welcome wanted to, our home. To, to talk Mother, to me. What's the meaning of Whoa. this? Who have you brought into our home? Averstein, put that down. He's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know he's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, Mother. So, you're here to help? Uh, depends on what the choices are. Uh, not totally sure what's going on, dude. My brother Thorald. He was fighting for the Stormcloaks and went missing. Everyone assumes he's dead. Oh, he's probably dead. But he's not. I just know it. No, the he's Imperials probably dead. captured him, and they're holding him someplace. The Battleborns know where. I'd go and search their house for proof, but they want me to. I'd be captured, and then we'll never know what happened to him. So I need someone to find that proof for me. Oh, the, the battle, the uh, the Battleborns, who are allied with the Thieves Guild. Um, 
Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to Sweet lower their guard. Uh, right, uh, why do you think the Battleborns are involved? The Battleborns. The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Why not just kill him to get back at your family? Okay, um, okay, Best sure. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. No, no, of course not. Why would I do that? That would be terrible. I'm no friend of the Battleborns. <laughs> okay. Please, anything you can do to help me find my Thorold. But out of curiosity, why do you think the Battleborns are involved? It's hardly a secret that they have ties to the Empire and hate anyone who speaks out against it. Thorald did worse. He took action against the Empire, and the Battleborns knew it. Okay, so you guys are enemies of the Empire. Uh, how can you be sure that Thorold is still alive? He's my son. I just... I feel it in my heart. Oh, you'd understand if you had children. No, I, I, I understand even without children. You take care of yourself now. You're, um, living in denial. Uh, I'm just warming myself up by the fire. I have a cold bottom, so I'm just warming it up. I'm not checking around to see if there are valuable things. I'm heading out now. I will I will go and speak to the battle bonds. Oh, I suppose I should speak to them occasionally. Should I tell them? Should I tell them that these guys are on to them? That could I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Oh, okay. Hands only. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, and what is that? There was gonna... Oh, it's another one of the notification notes. Vanrith Guth. Oh, that's my outfit. I ordered an outfit. I'm trying something new. I ordered an outfit. It's It's got some red in it, which is definitely not me, but... But, you know, I'm willing to give it a try. Maybe it would give me a sort of a, a, a Dark Brotherhood feel. I could fit in when I'm there, you know, so as to be showing willing without looking like I'm uh, going to a fetish party. My, uh, my saber is also ready, so I definitely uh, need to go back to Riften and pick some stuff up. Should I do that beforehand? No, no, no. We're going to Markarth. We're going to Markarth. Temple of... Where was the Battleborn? mention again. Is it up here? Should I go and chat with them and say, look, seriously, these guys want me to come and steal some stuff from you, some information. But since we're allies. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for the, uh, the the head of the family. Oh my god. Actually, I was going to say, could you put some lights on in here? But if no one's in there, that would be a waste of candles, wouldn't it? Do not steal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not steal sweet rolls from the battle bonds. These are your allies. Ah! Hello! Idoloth. Hi. Grey Mane or Battleborn? Battleborn. Battleborn, dude. I'm on your side. Then I say, well met, friend. I can tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. I think you know what really happened. Um, out of curiosity, I'm just being nosy, but do you know what happened to Thorold Greymane? He fought on the wrong side, and he paid for it. That's all I have to say. Yeah, no, that, that makes perfect sense to me, but out of curiosity, what did happen to him? Haven't you heard it by now? He made the mistake of supporting the Stormcloaks, and it cost him. Bitter news for his family, but a fate they should have expected. Yeah, 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 no, that, that's... Right then. Fair enough, all right. I don't seem to want to tell them that uh, someone's been asking me to take information from them. I think I need to wait until uh, the Grey Mains doze off, if I can remember which was their bloody house. I need to wait for them to doze off. 
And then uh, probably go in through the back entrance. Well, it's gone midnight. I believe the guard is on his way around here as we speak. Am I hearing another one? I believe I might be. Yes, indeed. He's going that way. That's not a guard. Not a guard. All right. In we go. So. Now I have a key. Oh, crap. Still awake. Still awake. Still awake. All right. Flagon. Do I want more night vision? I don't want to put the light on, do I? I'm going through these potions a little faster than I would hope. I might... I might hold off for cases that are uh, slightly more pressing. Are you really not going to go to bed? Really? I come back in an hour. That might be a sensible thing. I do have invisibility potions which will allow me to get around a little bit, but I can't pick anything up with an invisibility potion. I say I wait for another hour. The guards here don't use torches. It's interesting. And also, in this particular case, useful. All right. And... Oh, come on. All right, well, I'm going to have to use... I'm going to have to use... No, I can't. I'm, okay. I was going to say I could... wish I could knock them out. Slip them a potion of sleeping. That would be useful. All right. Oh, I don't have invisibility. Hot. Right. So... Now that's the thing I wanted. I don't think she can see me there. Was there anything over here? I mean, I know there was a sweet roll. There was definitely a sweet roll. Is it worth a, a, a potion? Is it worth an invisibility potion just for one sweet roll? <sighs> it is, isn't it? Okay. Refresh the invisibility potion. See, once I'm on this side, I think I'm hidden. Although, what is that? Oh, no, that's food. That's food. So, flag and garlic. Garlic. Can be used for potions. Just don't want to accidentally take the bowl and knock everything over. Which is probably exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Somebody is asleep in here. Tacky tree, oh, I need not treats. You are a messy person, do you know that? Alvolstein Grey Mane. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to use a night vision potion just for this one. Oh my god. I need 500. I need 500 golds worth of stuff, plus I need. Two more items from this place. I suspect it might be better for me to get the uh, rest of the 500 gold from somewhere else. Because 
This is a little dangerous. Let's just get the main items I need. Get out of here. I'm going to need the invisibility. Yes, I am. Oh my god, this is... This is an expensive heist. This is where I'm just suddenly going to hear her start walking up the stairs, isn't it? Ah, ha. Merchant's clothes. Okay. Oh, oh, that is actually, oh, that. Then I don't need to go anywhere else. Out of curiosity, what does he have on him? Some nice stuff, but honestly, I uh, don't want to make any stupid moves at the moment until I've got everything I need. Is she moving now? Oh god, she's coming upstairs. She's coming upstairs. She's actually coming upstairs. Just It's a different grey mane. It's a different grey mane. Oh my god. <sighs> I should have waited longer. What is on your mind? What is on my mind I is. I will bear your burdens gladly. You owe me a really expensive invisibility potion. Yes, you do. That. Is probably the most Are expensive. You going to join me? Take a seat. Probably. That is the most expensive sweet roll you will have ever eaten, okay? Because my invisibility potions are pretty damned awesome. However, we're done. We can. Sadia, wake up, dear. Oh, God, no, no. Don't wake Never up. Mind. Don't wake up. No, I'm, I, I just wanted to sit down and chat with my. Break everything. My mother and father are both gone. They died protecting a trading caravan a few years back. I guess I am an orphan again. Yeah, I'm not... I, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, I, I am really sorry, Inigo. Although, you're a bit big to be called an orphan, I think. I mean, I suppose technically we're all orphans eventually then. I, I think you have to be a child, but I'm sorry anyway. That means a great deal. Thank you. Uh... What were your parents like? I suppose they were a bit of an odd couple, being an Argonian and a Khajiit, but they adored each other. And us. Despite their previous profession, they were good people. Okay, when you say parents... Um... Yeah, no, let's... No, you know, that, that, yep. Good talk, good talk. Well, it may have taken us a little longer than expected, but we've made it to Markarth. We will find the client in... Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know anything about this house? No. I am not a real estate agent. Do I look like one? Yeah, so the client is in the Alchemists. Now, we do have a number of jobs. Well, two jobs. Here, one of them is with one of the forges. Now, there are two forges here. Yes, there are. Is it down there? And the other one is, I think, in the shop where we found Lisbeth. I think so. Right, we're looking for... Was it... Downstairs, dear. Just come right Muri? In. Not you. I think it's... Wasn't it a young assistant? You're Bethella. Do you have somebody working here? 
I'm supposed to find them during the day. Or maybe I'm not. What what time of day is it? Ah. Okay, hello. Um, Why are you looking at me like that? Can we talk somewhere in private? Okay. Uh, never mind. Just. I should get back to memorizing recipes. Yeah, yeah. She's watching us. Should I change? I'm in my feet thingy. We should be we should be really impressive and cool about this. In fact, I will be here. Can I do a quick change? No, she's watching. Did you run asleep? Oh, okay, that that works. That actually works. Just 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 keep the old lady. Mysterious, and I don't want to look like I'm a part of the Thieves Guild. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's. Uh, let's just, I've got a giant bloody bug on my bottom. Probably not. Okay. Oh, can, can the woman see me from there? Probably, right? Let's stand here in the shadows. Moody! Why are you looking at me like that? How do you know how I'm looking? I've got a face mask on. Yes, stand, stand. The Brotherhood has the come. Dark brother, oh, oh, I. My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament, it actually worked. Oh yes, obviously. Now tell me what you need, child. I should have had child at the end. It sounds more. What I need, what I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. Okay, I'll need more to go on. Yeah, no, no, no. By Sithis, I need details. Get to the point. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. Windhelm! I came all this way. Fine. It will be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. Uh, yes, I'm listening. If you can. I want you to kill someone else, as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield, in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies, too, I'll make it worth your while. Nilsine, I'm trying to try... Uh, Nilsine, Nilsine Shattershield. That's in Windhelm. You don't want him dead because he's a bandit. Nilsine's... Oh, tell me the full story. Why do you want him dead? Really, child, do not lie to me. I went to Windhelm to see the Shatter Shields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning, Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind. Huh. Elaine used me to get close Clever. to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of monster. Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. Meh. Yeah. Okay. Actually, to be honest with you, he sounds like a smart guy. Shame we have to kill him, but uh, job's a job, right? Yes. Uh, and Nilsine Shattershield, why must she die? Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova, a sister to Nilsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No, they treated me like garbage, threw me away. 
With Nilsine dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's bound to work, that is. Kill off the the daughter, and then the mother will look to you as a daughter. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I can't see how that plan's going to fail. Anything else? I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine, too. But lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Go on. Just coat your weapon with it. Then, you get the idea. Can I not just... I've got two lotus extract. Can I not just slip them the poison without the weapon? I'm very good at that. Okay. Brilliant. Make them all pay for what they've done to me. Make them pay for what they've done to you. Sorry, no. I shall. And then I shall return. Now, if you could, you know, just close your eyes so I can get changed again. 